welcome back to Nikki's Scrapbooking Adventures. It's spring and I really, really like spring. Specifically when the flowers start to bloom. Now, for most people, these look like weeds. They're in your grass, but I love, love, love when they start covering your grass because your grass looks purple then, which I think is such so much fun. So this is actually a patch of the grass between my neighbor's house and my house. And I just had to capture the image of these little cute purple flowers. It's my favorite part of spring. Now, when you mow them, they go away and they don't really come back. They only bloom in the spring. So you got to take it while it lasts, right? I would love to have my garden look or my yard look like this. So today I'm thinking... I'm going to play with some spring collections. Well, one of those collections is the Bloom Street by American Crafts. I think it might be Pink Paisley. I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up. I'll put a, put a link to it down below. However, it's probably discontinued now. This is an older line. Um, and I just have some bits and pieces that I've thrown in with it. Like, for example, this was a 12 by 12 sheet that I just cut apart because it has the same colors as the collection here. I've been trying to accumulate my collection. Again, this was just a DIY ephemera that I would put together to use with this collection from different other collections. So I like to bulk up my stash by adding things that I think would look good together, right? So this is part of Bloom Street. I'll just kind of quickly flip through the papers that I do have. And the reason I'm choosing this, because it has the purple. Not many collections have purple. I love these umbrellas. This would be fun for a summer rainy day picture or something like that. This is one of my absolute favorites, and I think I have several of those. This is where I cut out those letters from. And then I love the back side. It has all of these lovely little sayings, which are somewhere. And this is my favorite paper, because it has a great green, and then these florals are just super cute. But that green is amazing. Just quickly go through... See, look at this purple. Hmm. With that. And then I got a cut apart sheet here. I got a lot of this off of, and this is the Wonders Collection. Wonders Collection. But those colors still go together really well. Okay, I'm going to go through another kit that I put together. So I've got two or three different kits. This is Bloom Street that reminds me of spring. This other kit was actually just something I put randomly together um, in Hobby Lobby. I just started picking papers that coordinated. So this was my inspiration piece and I really still love this paper. I was thinking about doing something like this, where it doesn't actually have the purple in it, so that the purple really stands out. But we'll see. And then look at these cute eggs. I just love this. And then a fun multimedia background. That was pulled from my stash. Look at that cuteness. Okay. And then I just grabbed a couple Paper Studio pages that were on sale. And so I was like, oh, I'll just build a kit real quick based on the colors that we have. I love this paper. I was thinking about taking this and putting it together. But that is another little kit that has springy colors in it from Paper Studio. See, I pulled in multicolored as well as solids so that this is a very versatile kit okay and then let's go through my spring collection 
I'm just in the mood to play with these light fun colors. So this is anything in my stash that I hold that makes me, reminds me of spring. So not a specific collection. I grabbed just some leftover scraps that were in my scrap bin and just plugged it in here too. Now I don't think I'm going to use this collection at all. I just want to show you this as an idea of some spring colors. Like these you can tell are old school papers. The style is old, right? But see, look at this cute rainbows. Mm, and I love the back of this page too. I think that's really pretty. So when I'm looking at my papers, I am really truly only looking at the A side. Had to pull the bunnies in. I had to get an orange. So this is actually from Simple Stories like Wild West or something like that. But I had to get this orange in there because there wasn't... I just don't have orange in my stash. So that's fine. Oh, look at those cute bees. And the greens. And this is a Halloween line. But I'm going to use it for that green, right? And then I love this paper. Love the raindrops. And this is gorgeous too. But the raindrops have my heart. And a cute quilt, but then there has um, cut aparts on the back. I thought about cutting this apart, but I really like this pattern more. And then, ooh, that's a really bright page, right? I probably would use it for this because I think this is super cute with the bunnies and the egg and the thing. Okay. And that is my other spring collection. Anything that I reminded me of spring went into this collection. And then let's talk about embellishments. So these are things that I fussy cut out of cut apart sheets while I was on a road trip. So these should all be semi spring related. You can see a whole bunch of little flowers got some eggs those bunnies in the egg hot air balloon these little birds and then to throw something a little bit different in there I've got this I guess I don't know if it's called ribbon trim that's leaves because of course it's spring so and then Dollar Tree ribbon that I just cut down I think it's probably yeah, I just cut it to like 18. It's got some cute bunnies on it. So these things I just fussy cut out. So I had some more embellishments. That's from Dollar Tree. And then this bits and pieces from Doodlebug. I love that Dollar Tree because that is flipping adorable. Um, Dollar Tree title some cute eggs. I don't know where that's from. And then Hobby Lobby had wood veneer. So I can definitely use some of that. And I would color it with alcohol markers. I found the best results that way. And then I've got some ephemera here from Echo Park that was on sale. And I've got some ephemera here from Rosie's Studio, Clover Lane. And some extra stuff. I'm not sure. Oh, that's probably fussy cut stuff that fell out. So, that those are the items that I'm going to be playing with. I also always have my stamps, dies, all that fun goodness. I am back after much deliberation about this layout. And I've chose the sketch that I'm going to use. I reprinted my photos twice because... I don't know what's going on with my printer right now. It's leaking ink, which is really frustrating. So I had a little red spot on my photo, and then I decided I didn't like the photo size, so it was a thing, unfortunately. The sketch that I chose to use is from Page Maps, October 2021. And it is this one right here. I have two similar photos. So I decided, okay, I'll just go with the two photo spread. They could have easily done this one, but for some reason, this one was really sticking out in my brain, which is fine. Here's my photos reprinted. 
And what I did is I used the Project Life app to make it so it's a four by six image, but there's a four by three and a four by three, and I'm gonna leave it just like this. I don't really feel like there needs to be a separation on my photos because they're so similar, so it kind of looks like a continuous image. And if you look at my sketch, they don't separate those photos either. So I'm just gonna keep that right there. I chose to use the papers from the Bloom Street collection because they were heavy in purple. And I have my purple piece that's long that looks like leaves here. And I was playing with adding the strip. So I've got a couple cute punches that I can use. Excuse me. So there's this EK Success punch that I punched out in the back of a floral paper that had some purple, but you can't see it against my background. So I was like, okay, never mind. And even if I changed this side, I'm not a huge fan of the multicolor aspect of it. I think I want this to be the same color. Another punch that I, kept, I played with a little bit was this Martha Stewart paper punch. And I played with this one in a different color way. I was thinking blue because green on blue is a little bit, or purple is a little bit harsh, but I mean, that's in my photo, so whatever. Also this green, this blue was in the photo or the paper that I'm going to map my photo with. So I took my ed my scalloped edge punch to the bottom of this because my sketch called for an edge punch and I was like, well, I don't really want a notebook on a cute, pretty layout. So I chose to do a scallop and that's going to rest right here. And my photo is going to be purposely placed so that I can see butterflies underneath and above it. Okay. So that's why I pulled this blue in. This looks like seaweed to me, so I'm not going to use it. <laughs> so those two ideas were out the window. And then I was like, okay, let's focus on something that you, something else, because you don't know what you're going to do on this side. Well, Dollar Tree a long time ago, and this is really funny, had bookmarks. And look at this bookmark I found. It says, you make life beautiful. And it's going to sit right here. Okay, that looks pretty good so far. But everything is getting lost. Okay, well, let's pull in some green. Okay. Well, that makes this layout incredibly busy. Like my brain hurts looking at this because there's a pattern here, pattern here, pattern here. Look at what it does when I flip this. Oh, that's just way too much, right? Okay, so how do I combat that? Well, I could switch this out for a solid or hear me out. I could add black, okay? This, I mean, it's a spring page. But I want my photos to be the center and not all this busy pattern. Like right now, my eye doesn't know where to rest. Okay. And with the white, this background was pulling was kind of sinking into the white. But look what this black does. Look how this now pops off the page. Your main focus is now what's going on in the center of the layout. Because the white, the green, and the black are all a border to your layout. Now I do feel like my title is getting lost. So what I did is I cut a little bit of a strip and it's going to go right here to just 
anchor my title a little bit. I think because it was purple on purple, it was getting a little bit lost. So that, my friends, is my base page. Now if you look at my sketch, there is a little journaling right here. And I don't want to take away from my design that I have right now. So I'm not going to add that portion. And I get to decide that because this is my, my layout, right? Now let's go back to this strip. I was thinking about adding some ribbon to this. But the ribbon conflicted with this tassel. And I am going to leave the tassel on. I think that's so cute. And it matches the blues that are in this other paper. But then I remembered that I had this fancy dancy thing. Right? This doesn't look like seaweed. These look like weaves. Leaves. <sighs> I don't know why that punch looks like seaweed to me. So what I'm going to do to bring in some more of that green is I will glue down this little piece on the edge of this purple paper. So that is going to be my border for, and then this is just kind of kind of lay, right? Look at how cute that is. Now let's talk embellishments. I went through my paper flowers and this is kind of what I came up with. I've got some doily kind of deals here. I've got some old school ones here. I think these are from 49 and Market, which I think are beautiful. I love the white. And what this white is going to do is it's going to make it really pop off the page. Really bring the emphasis in that this is flowers. I thought about doing these purple flowers, but the purple is not the same color. And because the purple, the purple, the purple, there's not very much of a variation in the purple tones. Even in my photos, these this purple matches this paper perfectly. So I can't bring in this pinky purple here. It would be weird looking. Some people are like, well, you can mix and match. In this specific case, I don't think I can. So I've got some florals here that I can play with. So I'm going to do, let's do one like right here to cover up where that ends, right? It's a cute little trick of the eye, right? I've got a fun black one. I thought this would be fun to bring in because the back of my background is black. And I can put it right on top of there. And then I got a cute little pink one here. Just do a little cluster of three down there. Let's do a cluster of three. Let's think here. So my sketch has a cluster here, cluster here, and then kind of a cluster right here. Well, I'm totally mixing that up, right? Because I want to see these butterflies. So let's do that. And I think all of these, I'm not going to do pink. I'm trying to use up these paper flowers. I think that's part of what I'm trying to do here because I have so many. That brings in some green. So I've got green on this side. Do we want to bring in some yellow? Nah, not on this one, I don't think. Yellow would bring the eye too far out. And then I also have these puffy stickers that are these uh, purpley pink colors, right? I really want to bring a black flower in, so I think what I'm going to have to do is color that. Well, let's experiment. I'm going to move this. I have so many of these white flowers, I am totally okay with experimenting. One thing I find that colors well on things that are not paper, and these I think are actually paper, are Copic markers. So Copic markers are alcohol markers. And so things like wood veneer are colored really nicely with Copic markers. 
because it kind of soaks into the wood. You can do paint on wood veneer as well. Um, I just haven't. And maybe it's like a base what I would do for wood veneer is paint it white if that's what if that's one of the colors that needs to be say you have a wood veneer that's Santa's beard right the main color of Santa's beard is white for Santa's face the beard is white so then what I would do because alcohol markers don't come in white is I would paint it with acrylic paint in white first and then use acrylic see if alcohol markers would work on top of that acrylic paint. I have not personally tried it before because I try to stay away from wood veneer that need to be painted white because why else? It's wood, right? Oh, you know what? I think I did have Santa in wood veneer at one point and I was able to use a metallic white marker from Dollar Tree to color in the white portion. Just a thought. I don't know what the metallic marker is made out of to tell you if it would mix well with alcohol markers. So what I'm noticing now is that it's hard to get really close to that jewel. I wonder if I can paint the bottom of it and it would soak through enough to be seen. Oh, well, that kind of worked actually. Okay, soaking in. Yeah, look at that, that was cool. Okay. Because these are paper flowers, Look at that, that worked out really well. Okay, I think I'm gonna stick with the same flowers then in each cluster. So I'm just gonna do two in each cluster. I've got a black and a white. And I'm gonna do one down here, a black, and then a white. And that, my friends, is gonna be my page. Now, journaling. Where will my journaling go? I think I'm going to write my journaling in silver because the title is silver. So what I'm going to do to bring in that metallic is I'm going to write my journaling along the outside white border. So Look in the close-ups below. I will need to come up with like four sentences of my journaling. It might be easier just to write down here. I'll get everything adhered and then decide, but I'll do it in silver for sure because I need to pull in that silver that's in my title. Well, I hope you liked this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will try to list where I got this Bloom Street down below it may it probably is not available anymore because this is an older collection however did you know that you can download older collections from ac digitals and you can get the entire collection of course then you have to print it at home or print it send it off somewhere to get printed but i think that is an alternate way if you want to get these older collections that american crafts comes out with Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.